Hey, Paleo Nick here. Right now I'm gonna show you the next dish in our It's Not Gourmet Bro series. Uh, this is gonna be a whole chicken. We're gonna cook it in the crock pot. And if you're looking for a meal that cooks while you're away for the day, then you'll wanna stay tuned for this one. So first we'll just take a quick look at our ingredients. We've got green chilies, tomatoes, sweet potato, poblano peppers, onions, garlic, cumin, chili powder. This is bacon. You guys excited about that one? And then a whole chicken. We'll also use salt, pepper, and bay leaves. And um, it only took like two minutes to cut all this stuff up, right? So it's gonna be super simple. But no, this is how I recommend setting it up. Mise en place, getting everything ready before you uh, go to do the cooking. So I'm gonna start with the chicken and just get that out of the, actually let's start the other way to keep things safe. I'm gonna dump the bacon in the bottom of my crock pot, spread that out, and then I'm gonna put the garlic right on top of that. That'll provide the base, okay? From there, I'll take one of my bowls and put all the other ingredients in it. Onions, poblanos or pasillas, yams or sweet potatoes, green chilies, and crushed tomatoes. Then I'll just grab my spoon and mix this stuff up. From there, I'm gonna take two scoops. Boom, boom, right in the bottom, crock pot. And then I'll take, put my chicken, in the second bowl. Inside the chicken, there's like the neck and the gizzards, I'm gonna drop that in the bottom. Boom, and then I'll get a good amount of salt here. Start with the salt, all the way around inside the carcass. Good, some pepper. You can put uh, rubber gloves on too if you're scared of touching raw chicken. But I don't mind, I'm just gonna wash my hands well when I'm done here. And then I have uh, chili powder and cumin right here. So we're gonna blast the outside with that too inside, the bottom, and then I'll just take the extra, sprinkle it over here, sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on those guys, uh, and then I'll take this guy and a couple scoops inside the chicken. So chicken goes in like that. These spices on top there, right? I don't want to throw those away. We paid for them. And then the rest of our, let me just pull this guy up here. All the goods in there, just like that. My hands are good wash and I'll be right back. All right, so my hands are clean and I actually got called out on touching the handle with, the, with my hand. I had an unanticipated lift of the crock pot up to the cutting board. And um, there's probably some salmonella in this area, so I'm just gonna bleach that right here, just so you guys know. Look at that. Boom. That way I won't get 17 emails that uh, say I spread salmonella all over, right? Okay, last thing here, a couple, let's go with three bay leaves. I'll just sneak them kind of right on the side. As the juices come out of here, these will sink down. I should have maybe put these in on the bottom, but that's it. Put, throw the lid on, plug it in, and eight to 10 hours. So if you start this at 7 a.m., it'll be ready by five. Most crock pots or slow cookers have the, the warm features. So as soon as they're done cooking, they'll just keep it warm until you get home from work. So I'm gonna plug this guy in over here. So here we are 10 hours later. Uh, and you can see here, I just scooped this breast right off the bone, nice and tender. Actually, it's not really 10 hours later. If you look right over here, it's just, <laughs> but you know, we're on, on uh, video, right? The magic of TV. Uh, I'm just gonna serve this up quickly. So I scoop this off, one breast right in the bowl. And then what you might wanna do is render or uh, kind of skim off some of this fat, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna get a good, Good ladle full right there. 
It's mainly a, a protein source. There is some veg in there. A little sweet potato to add some sweetness. Wipe this. A little avocado in there. Maybe some fresh tomato cilantro. It's all good. And then let me just get a little. Mmm. That's what I call not gourmet. It just tastes that way. <laughs> I'm Paleo Nick. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep it paleo.